For those of you who dare face their dreams, Venture Consultants offers something beyond the power of words to describe. And why don't we describe it in the brochure? Because it's mostly just pain. <laughs> Two of the main groups in the story and on the mountain were Adventure Consultants, which was led by Rob Hall, and the other, Mountain Madness, which was led by um, Scott Fisher, who I play. Scott Fisher, Mr. Mountain Madness. <laughs> Scott Fisher brought a group to Everest that year, and he was actually coming on as this was his first expedition to Everest, guiding people, and he could see what Rob Hall was doing, and he wanted a, a slice of the action. He could see that he was this this industry it was exciting, it was dynamic, and, and Scott wanted in. For Rob and Scott, it became a way of life because they couldn't continue to climb mountains and they had to make a living out of it. Wow, it's crazy this year, eh? I know, man. Some idiot Kiwi goes and invents Himalayan guide here. Look what happens. Rob really loved to take people and to help them see what he saw and, and, and achieve their goals. And, and you, know, be, you know, it's in that brochure that he had, you know, let us consult and help on your adventure. I'm just suggesting that we work with each other instead of against. The only way we both summit, mate, is if we work together. Why not? They knew each other very well, both incredibly experienced climbers, both at Summit and Everest, and essentially, they were the leaders of the pack. You can't be too far ahead of you, mate. Yeah, I'll make it down in half the time. <sighs> they have varying styles. Rob Hall was very detail-oriented, very organized, um, very particular way. Uh, Scott Fisher sort of believed that Rob Hall was a bit of a handholder and took his clients up, you know, holding their hand up the mountain. And Scott Fisher's point of view and Mount Madness team's point of view was sort of more to let people climb on their own, to find their way. It's too much competition, Tully. There is competition between every person in this mountain. The last word always belongs to the mountain. It's an extraordinary couple of days where a lot of drama played out at an, ex in an extreme place in the world and it exposed everything we are. You know, there's a lot of, my God, imagine that. You can't let me do this. Let me do this. Okay. Please, Rob. Let's do it. Hello, Valerie here with another So You Think You Know Movies. Now, let's start with onset injuries, with Jennifer Lawrence being left temporarily deaf in one ear while shooting The Hunger Games Catching Fire. Sorry, what was that you said? Ah. And Nikki Reed injured her hands during the shooting of Twilight and had to wear gloves to cover them up. Okay, moving on, billionaire cameos with Sir Richard Branson having a Blink and you miss it, cameo in Casino Royale. Download our Famous Now app, available for both Android and iOS. Bye bye.